Hi, I'm Lauren Santiago and I am going to tackle the Schramm's model of communication and Shannon Weaver mathematical method. Schramm's model of communication. It is a circular model so that communication is something circular in nature. We have encoder, decoder, and interpreter. What do we think, what do we mean by encoder? Um, encoder, who does encoding or sends the message? And the decoder, who receives the message? Last, the interpreter, persons trying to understand, analyze, perceive, or interpret. Note, from the messaging starting to ending, there is an interpretation goes on. Based on this interpretation, only the message is received. This model breaks the sender and, receive, and receiver model, it seems communication in practical way. It is not traditional model. It can happen within ourselves or two people. Each person acts as both sender and receiver and hence use interpretation. It is simultaneously take place example, encoding, interpret, and decoding. Semantic noise is a concept introduced here. It occurs when sender and receiver apply different meaning to the same message. It happens mostly because of words and phrases, for example, technical language. So certain words and phrases will cause you to deviate, to deviate from the actual meaning of the communication. Scrum communication is usually described along a few major dimensions. First one is message, what type of things are communicated, source, emissor, sender, encoder, by whom, form, in which form, channel, through which medium, in destination, receiver, target, decoder, to whom, and receiver. Wilbur Schramm, in 1954, also indicated that we should also examine the impact that a message has both desired and undesired. On the target message, between parties, communication includes acts that confer knowledge and experiences, give advice and commands, and ask questions. These acts may take many forms in one of the various manners of communication. The form depends on the abilities of the group communicating. Together, communication content and form make messages that are sent towards a destination. The target can be oneself, another person or being, another entity, such as, such as a corporation or group of beings. Communication can be seen as processes of information transmission governed by three levels of semiotic rules. Syntactic, syntactic formal, formal properties of signs and symbols, and the second is Pragmatic, concerned with the relations between science expressions and their users. And semantic, study of relationships between signs and symbols and what they represent. Therefore, communication is social interaction where at least two interacting agents share a common set of signs and a common set of semiotic rules. This commonly held rule in some sense ignores auto-communication auto including interpersonal communication, communication via diaries or self-talk. Both secondary phenomena that follow the primary acquisition of communicative competencies, competences within social interactions. Then, Let's talk about the Shannon Weaver model of communication. Shannon Weaver model of communication has been called the mother of all models. It embodies the concepts of information source, message, transmitter, signal, channel, noise, receiver, information destination, probability of error encoding, decoding, information rate, channel capacity. And in 1948, Claude Edward Shannon Publish a mathematical theory of communication article in two parts in the July and October numbers of the Bell System Technical Journal. In this fundamental work, he used tools in probability theory developed by, Ro by Norbert Wiener, um, which were in their 
nascent stages of being applied to communication theory at that same time. Shannon developed information entropy as a measure for the uncertainty in a message while essentially inventing what became known as the dominant form of information theory. The book co-authored with Warren Weaver, The Mathematical Theory of Communication, preprints Shannon's 1948 article and Weaver's popularization of it, which is accessible to the non-specialist. Shannon's concepts were also popularized subject to his own proof reading. In John Robinson Spears' Symbols, Signals, and Noise, the term Shannon Weaver models was widely adapted into social science fields such as education, organizational, organizational analysis, psychology, uh, and etc. However, some critics, some some critics have labeled it a uh, misleading uh, misrepresentation of the nature of human communication, citing its simplicity and inability to consider context. That's all. Thank you.